Oh no. I have no idea what happened, but one of the pictures just, I don't know. I think this is it for tonight, unfortunately. Well, it looks like we finally have some clear skies coming to us. The last clear night for us was the day before and the day after the Great Conjunction, of course. So that is maybe 20 or 19 days ago. The forecast says it'll be about 20% cloud coverage, but that is according to NWS Wilmington, which is maybe 80 or more miles away for, from where I am. The local forecast says it'll be clear, so I'm looking forward to some clear skies tonight. The plan for tonight is to shoot the Rosette Nebula. I did this last year. I'll show a quick pic for you. It actually turned out really good. I think I ended up taking this picture January 1st last year, actually. So just over one year ago. And I'm really excited tonight because I'm get, gonna get to try out a new little gadget that I got for Christmas, and that is this guy. Optolong Stream. It's going to be really good at isolating those wavelengths and blocking out a lot of the city light. And since I am using a Canon, it has some weaknesses like banding, and it'll really kind of bring those out, a lot of the weaknesses of the camera. So this will be a big kind of variable thrown in there because not a lot of light gets through this, and it's going to put a big demand on guiding and just exposure and my ability to focus. We'll see how this guy goes. I only got the trial version of Backyard EOS, um, so I need to actually buy that right now before I forget. So let me do that. shield rest in peace. So before we start assembling the telescope, my old um, little dew shield slash light protector thing was ruined. So I want to talk about shielding your telescope from extraneous light and how I make mine. So I have the perhaps maybe not so unique situation of having lots of surrounding lights to me. Namely, this church parking lot back here has a security light. And I find that the inside of the built-on dew shield for mine is still kind of reflective to sunlight, even though it's black, it still reflects some light around, and it gives me weird, like, circular patterns. So I have two sheets of just 8.5 by 11 construction paper, a stapler, and some scotch tape. So I like to take mine the long way, as in, like, wrap the sheets around in this direction just because it fits my telescope. But first, what I should do is staple these together. I place this under the dew shield, and I wrap it around and use some scotch tape to hold it, and then I staple the last side.
I find that black construction paper works well for me. You know, it's it's longer, it's an extension to the already built-on dew shield, and it has a really matte black and absorbing surface. So there won't be any internal reflections. These are some sunset colors I have not seen in a long time. meeting from 6 to 8 p.m. and it's about 8.30 now, so it's time for me to start setting everything up. I finished aligning the telescope, setting up Backyard EOS and PhD and stuff like that, gave me the typical troubles. Um, right now my errors and guiding somewhere between half a pixel and one pixel um, but I in, I installed the Optolong L Extreme and I made sure everything was in focus and I'm taking a four and a half minute exposure right now at ISO 1600 of the Rosette Nebula and I'm excited to see how this image turns out. Oh no. I don't know what's happening, but two of my last images were completely destroyed. Each new exposure, you can see the stars are tracking constantly as if the scope isn't tracking the sky. I don't know. I think this is it for tonight, unfortunately. It's uh, about 1.30. I wanted to go until pretty much sunrise, but it looks like... I might pack up early tonight, but I do have a few, like 20 some odd images, so that's not good, but it's okay. Oh well, you live and you learn. This is not how I wanted to end the night, but until next time. Well, I can't lie. I think the good things that came out of tonight kind of balance out the, the bad things that came out of tonight. So good things are, I got the good data, I'm pretty sure. I didn't see banding, at least immediately. You know, I didn't really stretch it that much. Uh, but I could see tons of structure, lots of contrast already, so I'm super excited. I'm really excited to deal with this data and um, make a great picture. Uh, but the sad thing is, something happened with the guiding or one of the motors or something, and it just completely threw off or trashed the guiding. It's the morning after. I slept out in my car last night. It got down into the low 20s. I was surprisingly warm though, um, so that was kind of fun. I think I have a good idea of what the problem was last night when the telescope's tracking and pretty much whole computer just stopped. I think there was some sort of like serial or some kind of interrupt between the computer and the hand controller because a year and a half ago something really similar happened where a USB got bumped out and the guiding just got reset. So I think maybe with all the frost or just something weird happened, but I think it was just a, a disconnect. But in great news, I think they're estimating moderately clear skies Monday night and Tuesday night. So I'm really excited to try to image some other things and get more use out of this filter before I go back to school. And, and who knows, maybe one of these nights I will go down to the dark sky park and get something spicy. We'll see.